If you're an online business owner or an aspiring online business owner, then having an email list should be your top priority. Now, I love YouTube, but having an email list is essential for online entrepreneurs. And I think you should get started with it as soon as you start your YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through ConvertKit, which is my favorite email software that I use. So I'm going to show you some of my favorite features, and I'm going to give you a link to use it for free for 14 days. So are you ready? Hey Go-Getter, it's Salma Jafri. I'm the founder of YouTube Launchpad, the foundational course for growing your personal brand with video. If you want to build your visibility, credibility, and profitability with YouTube, then be sure to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon, and let's begin. So today I'm gonna to be walking you through ConvertKit. I'm gonna open up my laptop in just a sec, but before we get there, let me just give you a few quick ideas on why email is so important. So I've added uh, 800 new subscribers to my email email list last month. And one of the biggest reasons for that is because I typically tie in a freebie with my YouTube videos. Now, you know that I actually switched over from MailChimp. And one of the biggest reasons that I did that was because MailChimp was counting subscribers twice. So I was actually paying for the same person subscribed to different freebies. And that didn't sit well with me because that's a lot of money going for one person subscribed over and over. And I don't know why they do that. And ConvertKit doesn't do that, which is one of the main reasons why I switched. However, if you are just starting out with email and you have no idea how to create a list, MailChimp is actually a great software to start with because it's free for the first 2000 subscribers. So that would be a great place to start. But if you already have some idea and you want to you know, use something a little bit more professional, then ConvertKit would be a better tool. All right, so here we are inside ConvertKit, and one of the most distinctive features I wanna show you is tags. Now, tags are how ConvertKit identifies subscribers. So I'm gonna scroll down to show you some of my tags, and I'll show you why these are really useful. So for example, I have some tags for people who signed up for specific webinars. I have some tags for people who show interest in certain links, like for example, in um, Patreon, for example, or interested in this particular freebie or interested in joining the Facebook group or interested in my camera confidence um, uh, freebie. So I have all these tags created and tags help you to really simplify who should be getting your emails and who shouldn't be. So for example, I have a tag created for everybody who buys YouTube Launchpad, right? So anytime I want to send out a promotional email about YouTube Launchpad, I'm going to make sure that anybody who is tagged with that specific uh, bot tag will not be getting those promotional emails. So it's a really easy way to know who's going to get what emails and you don't overburden your subscribers with unnecessary emails. And I think that is a really crucial thing because a lot of people are scared of sending emails or too many emails because they think that people are going to be wary of them and get burdened by them. So that's a really great way to segment your list. So let's say you have somebody who is interested in a specific segment of your videos, but not interested in others. You can tag them with that and just send them emails relevant to what they're actually interested in. The next thing I want to show you are sequences. Sequences are a series of emails that go out to your email subscribers. And the whole point of a nurture sequence, as it's called, is to help your subscribers get to know you better and you can also get to know them better. So it's just a way of deepening that connection and building a relationship. So I'm going to show you how to build sequences or just show you how I've made some sequences. So you go up here, you click on sequences and you can see these are some of the sequences that I have. And so for example, if you click on my YouTube masterclass sequence, you'll see that a series of emails are in this sequence. Now, you can set up rules and you can say when somebody should get that email. So it can be a really great way to deliver an email course, to deliver information over a series, to give people the first, let's say, 10 steps that they need to know. In fact, let me show you my um, vanity challenge sequence. That would be a good one to show as an example. So here it is, vanity challenge. It's a 10 day sequence with 11 emails. Now, this is a challenge for people who wanna to get to their first 100 subscribers. So I've written out the rules of this challenge and all of the emails that are in it are gonna help you to get 200 subscribers. But I've set this up so that you get one email a day with a specific task. So that's a really good way to use sequences to run a challenge where you, it's called drip free feeding your content, right? So you give that email 
two people every single day and they get to know what is the next step that they need to take. So I think that this is a really, really good use of sequences. So if you are thinking of running, let's say a small challenge and or, or you're getting an idea that you could run a challenge for your email subscribers to get them to a certain result, then sequences inside ConvertKit are an absolutely amazing way to do that. I'm gonna be making a video on a three-part sequence that you can use initially. So if you're just getting started with email marketing, um, I'm, if that video is already made, I'm gonna to link to it right here. Or if I have yet to make it, then I will link to it afterwards, right? So make sure you go and watch that. And also you'll be able to copy my three-part email sequence, which is sort of like a welcome sequence. If you have no idea what you should be sending your email subscribers, you can just copy paste that email sequence and use that. The next feature that I wanna show you is probably one of the ones that I bought ConvertKit for. It is the visual automations. Visual automations show you exactly what happens when somebody signs up and you can decide what should they receive next, what should they do next, what should happen next. So you can set up all the rules and it's a visual diagram. So let me take you inside automations. You're gonna click on automations from the tab here and you're gonna see these kind of uh, cool looking flowchart type maps here. And so I could take you through one. Let's say, let's go through the YouTube Launchpad sequence, right? So if I click on this, then it's gonna show you that people are coming in from the YouTube Masterclass. So the Masterclass is a freebie that I offer. It is a free video. It is a 30 minute training, right? So everyone who watches the Masterclass then gets added to the YouTube Masterclass sequence. So the sequence then, so you can sort of um, determine what happens next, right? So a great way to use these visual automations is to help people to, um, decide the flow of content that they should receive. Again, you don't want to overwhelm them, right? So it could be somebody goes to your form and signs up, they get your freebie, then you give them value, you give them more value, maybe you ask them a question, start a conversation, and more value, and then perhaps you make them an offer. Get on a call with them, um, tell them about your free offer or your paid products, uh, all about your services, depending on how they've answered your questions and where they are. So it's just a way of visually seeing that flow. So I think this is one of the most important aspects of ConvertKit. And you can see that how many subscribers are enrolled in that automation at any one time. And you also get to see reports based on who's viewing, who's clicking, um, who's unsubscribing, who's highly engaged, who's less. So you can, again, retarget people according to that. If somebody's always clicking on your links, they're clearly very engaged, right? So you can deepen the conversation with them. So my question for you today is, what is your greatest struggle with building an email list? Is it some kind of fear? Is it tech related? Is it content related? What is it? Let me know in the comments below. All right, what I wanna give you now is that I wanna drop a link to watch the three-part email sequence that I talked about earlier. So I'm gonna put that link in the description as well as the end card. And I'm also going to put in a link to start ConvertKit for free. So it's a 14-day absolutely free trial. Test it out, see how you like it to build your first email list or maybe your next email list. So the link to start is gonna be in the description.